ஹலோ வெல்கம் டு கதாயானா டுடே கதாயானா இஸ் ஜாயினிங் ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ இன் த ஃபெஸ்டிவிட்டீஸ் வித் த்ரீ டைம்ஸ் த செலிப்ரேஷன்ஸ் பிகாஸ் வீ ஹாவ் த்ரீ ஒகேஷன்ஸ் டுடே ஸ்டாண்டிங் ஹேண்ட் இன் ஹேண்ட் ஹோலி இன்டர்நேஷ்னல் ஹாப்பினஸ் டே அண்ட் வேர்ல்ட் ஸ்டோரி டெல்லிங் டே த தீம் ஃபார் வேர்ல்ட் ஸ்டோரி டெல்லிங் டே திஸ் இயர் இஸ் மித்ஸ் legends and epics and it is such a wonderful coincidence to have holy to go with the theme and international happiness day to add on to the joy without further ado let us immerse in the celebrations with stories of holy and happiness from our mythology and epic holy also called the festival of colors the festival of joy Holi is celebrated to welcome the fresh and new season of spring and during holi many of us play celebrate holi by playing with colors throwing colors on friends family colleagues or absolutely anybody the story behind playing with colors on holi is linked to lord krishna and radha when lord krishna was very young He was playing with his favorite friend Radha and other friends. As they were playing around, Radha observed one thing. She observed, she noticed that Krishna had an unusual dark color while she and other friends were comparatively fairer in complexion. Now Radha could not resist announcing her observation and she started crying out aloud, "Hey friends, come on here. Have you ever observed this that we have an odd man out in our group? Who else but Krishna? Look, he is dark in color. We are all fair in color. Hey Krishna, you are dark. We are all fair." She began teasing and soon all the friends joined Radha in teasing Krishna. Now little Krishna got very upset with all this and he ran home hugged his mother very tightly and started weeping profusely Now Yashoda Maiya looked at her son and with great concern asked him Oh my little boy Krishna what happened why are you crying To that Krishna said Ma why is Radha so fair why am i so dark ma i like radha very much she teases me that i am dark maybe she doesn't like me and he began continuously crying now the mother had to pacify the child somehow and so she said to krishna very calmly oh krishna is that all why do you want to cry for such a small thing listen go to radha and tell her to color your face with whatever color she likes that way you will not look dark to her any more and she will stop teasing you krishna thought that it was a very good idea he wiped his tears and ran to radha and told her to color him with whatever color she wanted radha also got excited with the idea and with the help of her friends made many color powders water colors of different colors of her liking and applied the colors on krishna's face his hands and looking at krishna decked up with all different colors of her liking radha was extremely delighted and looking at radha being so happy krishna was also elated but given that krishna was a mischievous fellow he also took some colors and smeared it on radha's face and very soon all the friends joined in took the colors took the water colors smeared it on everyone threw it on everyone and they began having the fun <laughs> what fun they had doing that and what joy this game of colors brings to us even today Many years later at the battlefield of Kurukshetra Arjuna was clarifying about all his innermost doubts with Krishna Arjuna asked Krishna what is happiness is there something called real happiness and can someone attain that Krishna replied oh yes Arjuna real happiness does exist and one can attain that if a person's mind remains fixed in the trance of self realization let me explain to you now basically arjuna 
there are three types of happiness. Sattvic happiness is the first one, which is the purest and unadulterated form, which awakens one to self-realization. Sattvic happiness might seem bitter, might seem like poison in the beginning, but at the end will be just like nectar. The second kind of happiness is Rajasic happiness. It is derived from the materials and objects surrounding us. Rajasic happiness arises from the contact of the person's senses with these objects. This Rajasic happiness might seem like nectar in the beginning, but in the end will only be bitter and sometimes poison-like. And the final kind of happiness, Arjuna, is tamasic happiness, which is totally blinded to self-realization, which is absolutely delusion from the beginning to the end. Tamasic happiness is derived from sleep, laziness, lethargy, and so on. Tamasic happiness is said to be of the nature of ignorance. Rajasic happiness is said to be of the nature of passion while sattvic happiness is said to be in the go mode of goodness. And do you know who determines which type of happiness a person chooses to enjoy? It is the senses Arjuna, a person's senses. A person's senses Arjuna are very shrewd. They keep roaming about in the vicinity of the mind of the person. And when the mind happens to focus on any one of these senses, they are immediately and forcibly carried away. And the person begins to think and contemplate about the objects and materials surrounding him. And so he falls into the pit or the pool of objects. And when a person has fallen there, he begins to develop attachment to the objects. From attachment develops lust or passion. From lust, he develops anger. From anger, he develops delusion. From delusion, there is bewilderment, there is confusion in thoughts, memories. There will be no clarity in thoughts. And from that, it leads to loss of intelligence. And when there is loss of intelligence, the person falls back again into the pool of objects and the cycle continues. And when a person remains fixated in that cycle, there is no possibility of peace. Think about it, Arjuna. How can there be happiness when there is no peace? Yes, Krishna. Right. I have never thought about such a thing at all. It is such a vicious cycle. But Krishna, is there any way by which a person can stop himself or herself from falling prey to the treacherous act of these senses? Krishna said, Of course, Arjuna, there are many ways. However, I can share two simple examples. First of all, you have to be mindful, watchful, focus on your mind. If you see that a sense is coming to draw the mind with it elsewhere, immediately withdraw the mind into a protective shell just like a tortoise draws its limbs into its shell when it senses danger. Or just be like a vast ocean. Let the rivers of desires, pleasures, wants keep flowing in. But you remain still, just like the vast ocean stay undisturbed by the rivers that are flowing inside you. These are all easier said than done, Arjuna. However, one thing is for certain. If a person manages to restrain or detach himself or herself from the sense of these objects, the person is sure to have a steady mind. And with a steady mind, he or she will have a steady intelligence. And with that kind of an intelligence, the person can attain real peace. And with real peace, the person is sure to enjoy true happiness. Happy Holi, Happy Happiness Day, Happy Storytelling Day to each and every one of you. This is Lakshmi taking your leave. See you all soon.